Let's see here. Box B. Okay. Let's just start with the top. I, uh, uh. So the bottom track here and the top track are the same size. It just looks goofy because I drew it funny. But yeah, basically a box beam is is a is is square. So if it's six inch, hey Dibs, what's up, my man? Good to see you. Good to see you. So say it's six inches, six inches all around. Okay, six inch, six inch, six inch. And um, um, what I do is I flip this top one upside down because this is the header. Okay, and this is where the studs will go inside there. Uh, and you want to insulate it. Okay. Now there's two ways to do this. Ah, it's okay. Better late, never. Better late than never, right? Now it's good to see you, Dibs. I was just thinking about you actually. Um, so uh, you can on the door studs, say on the door. Okay, I I install angle clips. Okay, you put angle clip here, an angle clip here. You put your box beam on, right, and then you close it off. Angle at the top, angle at the bottom. Right, so what you want to do is keep room. So if you're looking at uh, the top side of the of the of the beam, right, you're putting your track in inch and a half or an inch and a quarter, okay, for your clip. That's that you're leaving space at the end, okay, for your for your clip to go in, okay. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense, guys. Um, yeah, I have to. I, I've done. I do have a box beam video. I don't. I can't remember how good it is even. But um, you can also um, cut like um, your, your studs so that that they have tabs. Okay, that they at the at, that they actually have tabs, um, and and you can just put it in and screw in uh, like if it like tabs also. I, I was trained. I was told to always do it this way with the angle. Okay. Putting the clips in like that—that's the—that's the way I was shown. Um, but I've been seeing a lot. Our track goes on the uh, will be up here. Okay, track will be up here, right? And then we'll have track capping at, at the bottom, right? It'll look something like this, right? And then these tabs is where you'll screw in to the stud. Okay, they'll just slip in, boom, or you know, slip in because the tabs will be on both sides. Okay. Um, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good way to keep it, uh, keep it flush to the wall. Okay, because uh, when you do it my way, the clip way, you got to be really careful. You're not sticking out on either end. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, basically that's what a box beam is. Okay, and that's a part of the inside of the wall. It's a structural thing, and and yeah, like man, we we just put we just put um, some big big beams in at that house, that Calgary house, man. Holy cow. Um, there is some big beams over there. Studs facing away from each other. Yes, 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 exactly. Or wait a minute, hold on a second. Oh, so you mean this this way? Okay. So yeah, check this out. There's this there's this new way. Um, they screw the studs back to back like this. Okay. And uh, these are um, um, really thick ones, really thick studs. Like these are like two and a half inches, the flange, okay? Two and a half inch flange, okay? Um, so how this works, oh, I'm trying to remember exactly how we did this. Oh, I remember, right, yes. Um, so the, the studs go back to back like so. And then there's an, an other kind of, of stud that it kind of hangs over. So it'll go this way. Um, it's weird. It's all stud, okay? And it'll do it on the bottom. I, I, I'm just, I, I just seen these for the first time, actually, while I was in Calgary. Um, and and so the, the 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 these two studs are screwed in um, through this stud, okay, uh, all the way. And then yeah, then this stud here will be on the bottom. Shit, this is an awful drawing, guys. But same thing, fastened in like that. So that's all stud. These are special. This is a special beam. 
Um, you like I just started seeing these guys. Uh, these are fastened together, okay, back to back, and then another stud caps over top and a stud and a cap on the bottom. Very different way of doing it, but yeah, this is another way, okay, just using all studs, all studs. It's crazy. Um, this new system that they're using in, um, yeah, it's like an, it's like a light I beam. Yeah, exactly. Dibs. So, exactly. Screwed on the sides. Yeah. So that's basically it. Yeah. And then you want to insulate, you're going to have to insulate these cavities as well. Okay. So if you're getting covered, but it, it's a really interesting, um, I, I literally I just saw this for the first time, dude, uh, in, when we were down in Calgary. So in a panel factory, that's how they do it. And, and it's really wild. And what they're doing, too, is all their track is basically stud. It's crazy. It's all stud. And, and what they're doing is they're cutting and dimpling where the, where the centers are. Okay, They dimple out the track and they put the stud in. But they use stud for everything. It's crazy. Where these came into play, they put them above every window almost. And in this house, the windows were huge, okay, in big angles like this, right? So th this style of beam is what is going across this way, okay? And these, these beams will have tabs on the ends, okay? They have tabs on the ends. You don't put angle or anything like that. They, they, let, they literally have um, tabs, okay, that will go... Uh, through the door studs, okay. Okay, they're gonna double up each side of the window, so two studs, two studs, always. Okay, um, that's another thing too, guys. When you're doing your interior doors and things like that, always do two studs on both sides. Okay, um, even if it's light gauge, okay, two studs either side. Um, yeah, they're putting two studs on these big windows. Like this is huge. Like this is like, uh, we'll say this is like nineteen. Or no, yeah, 19 foot something, okay? On this side, and this is 10 foot here, okay? Literally, this is what, man, this beam is so long. And I think maybe the idea of it is it's lighter maybe than an actual box beam. Uh, I felt lighter because we had to take a lot of these out and adjust the heights because they built the panels wrong. And, and when they were installed, it wasn't perfectly, like they weren't square or centered or proper. So we had to fix a lot of these. And, we, and th this is why I know we had to take these beams apart. We had to take a lot of these beams apart to raise the headers up. But yeah, that's, that is the only time. So when you're building a ceiling, I, you never use this, okay? You never use the beams for your ceilings, really, okay? Unless you're planning to carry something of weight, maybe. But, yeah, I, you know, I've never put one in a ceiling before. Not, not in all my years. <sighs> but yeah, really neat beam. Really neat beam, guys. I'll, 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 I'll post some pictures next time I'm, I'm in Calgary. I'll post some pictures of just of the beam, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about there. But yeah, it's really neat. 